So remember that a simple random sample is one where every piece or every person in the population has an equal chance of being chosen. So here we have some data in the gray area, in the gray box, which are numbers between one and 10. And they represent exam or quiz scores for a group of students. So since we have 10 rows and six columns, we have 60 students. So we want to generate a simple random sample of 10 scores from among these 60 scores. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the blue box. So once you click in the blue box, the instructions here tell us we wanna type in the following exactly. And the thing that we're going to type into the blue box is equal sign, rand between. So that's short for random between. So R-A-N-D-B-E-T-W-E-E-N. And what this does is this will generate a random number between any two numbers that I designate. So for us, I'm going to put one comma 60. So this is going, once I close my parentheses here, I'm going to hit enter and it should generate a number between one and 60 for me. So let's check. So hitting enter, I get 29. Actually, let me change the background on this so it's just a little bit easier to see. There we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in in my first green box because now I want to record the random numbers that get generated. So the first random number for me that was generated was 29. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 29 into the green box and I'm going to hit enter. Notice that when I hit enter, the random number generator has created yet a new random number. So I'm gonna enter that one in for my second one, 26. And the next one I got was 55. The next one I got was 22 and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and record all of these random numbers. Okay, so I have 10 random numbers that were generated. Now, every time I hit enter or enter in a new value somewhere else, it's going to create a new random number, but, and that's okay, I don't need any more random numbers, but it's going to keep doing its thing. So the next thing I want to do is now that I have the random numbers, we can we can think of these scores as student one, student two, student three, and student one's quiz score, and student two's quiz score, and student three's quiz score. So now that I know which student's quiz score I'm going to grab, being you know 29, 26, 55, 22, etc from those random numbers I generated, I wanna go ahead and retrieve the score that's associated with that student. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to treat the top left as the first student and the bottom right as the 60th student. So for my first score that I wanna grab, I wanna grab the 29th student's score. So the way that I'm going to do that is the first column here, so it goes like this. So top left is the first student, then I have going down the second student, et cetera. So by the time I get to the bottom of the first column, that is the 10th student. Let's start now at the top of the second column. That's going to be the 11th student, the 12th student, the 13th student, the 14th, et cetera, and so on. So now that I'm at the bottom of my second column, that is the 20th student. If I want to get to the 29th student, I have to go in column three because that's now the 21st and I go down nine. So that's going to be here, column three, row nine. That's my 29th student. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that score just to kind of showcase where I'm looking at. What color do I want? I will make you light yellow. So the 29th student has a score of eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that. Then I need the 26th student. So again, the first column is the first 10, the second column is the second 10. And so the top of the third, that's 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And that student got a nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that. I'm also just gonna highlight it again here. So that was the 26th student 
Um, the next student I need is the 55th student. So that's five from the end. So if this bottom right guy is 60, then I have 59, 58, 57, 56, 55. So the 55th student is here. They got a four. And I'll just keep repeating this. So now I need the 22nd student. That was a nine. I need the 12th student. That one was here. That was a five. First student, that was a five. The 18th student, so this is 20, 19, 18. They got an eight. Then I need the 32nd student, so that's first student, 11th, 21st, 31, 32. Four, 13 students. 20, 19, 18, 17. They got a seven. And then I need the 49th student. So if this is 50 here at the bottom of the fifth column, then 49 would just be one above it, and that is seven. So in this way, I have recorded a simple random sample using a random number generator in Excel from an array of 60 data points. And I've already set up here for you guys the class average. So the class average was just a simple Excel command. We don't need to know too much about this command right now, but if you're curious, I just said it's the average of everything from cell B2, which is this guy, down to the last entry, which was uh, G11. So the class average was eight. For my average, for my sample, I got seven. So everyone's average is going to be a little bit different. And the idea here is to look at how our sample matches with our population, how our statistic matches with our parameter, right? So our statistic here is seven and our parameter is eight because the parameter came from the population and the statistic came from the sample. So that's all I want you to do right now is just to generate a, a simple random sample of 10 scores from the data I've provided. And you don't need to worry about configuring how to compute the sample average because that's already there for you as a formula.